Hello, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to one of the most satisfying games of all time, Power Wash Simulator. There's been a number of updates because the last time that I played this was September of last year, I think. And also, there's apparently multiplayer now, so if I can somehow rope in Bob and Waiter, Sean, or anyone else to play this with me, I'll do that. The Mayor's Mansion. God, that's not a lot of money. Is that even going to be worth it? I guess it doesn't really matter what's worth it. It just matters what I do and how I enjoy it. <laughs> look at the look at the handle. Look at the squeeze on that bad boy. That's pretty cool. I don't know how they've changed any of the um, mechanics of soap or anything like that. I'm just gonna get into this because I do enjoy clothing. Oh. <laughs> I don't customize. Career mode, mayor's mansion, a uh, boom. Resume. Also, they, they had like some controls. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what? what? Wait, well. Hey! <laughs> I guess I did it. I'm the best. That was very satisfying, I suppose. Sst, power washer. I've just joined the traveling carnival pitching up at the recreation ground. You may have seen us purchase a beautiful classic carousel, but I'm worried about being outgunned by the owners of the bigger rides. It's pretty filthy. I was going to clean it up myself, but then I thought, hey, what would happen if I gave her a deep clean and really made her pop? Who'd want to slowly slide down a grubby helter-skelter when they can waltz around a pristine carousel, right? Make her ping and we'll both clean up. You'll arrive in a plain van, right? Don't want the competition getting the same idea. Okay, whatever, man. I'll do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. Oh god, no! Damn it! I didn't mean to start! I didn't mean to start! I don't even know- Wow, R to rotate the nozzle. I saw in the patch notes, I saw that they put that in. Wait, no, I gotta show you the patch notes because it's just, it's just like, I know what they're trying to say here and um, it's their fault, not mine, and they don't need to be sassy because I don't deserve that kind of sass. Tutorial pop-ups appear the first time you play in point nine, and we hope it will help new players get the most out of the game the first time they play. Maybe some content creators won't be stuck realizing they can rotate their nozzles over multiple episodes. It wasn't obvious! Why would I think that you could do that? Why would anybody think that you could do that? It's obvious that that wouldn't be the thing that it would be. Quish nozzle. Um, I really don't know how soap works properly here. Um, multi-purpose cleaner, stone cleaner, plastic cleaner. I don't even know what this is. Metal? It's mostly metal, but the middle ones are plastic. So if I were to have none of these, because using these are practically cheating, and I stick with what I know. Nah. Let's try this. All right. How do I do aim mode? Jump? Dope. Love that. Show dirt. Okay. That's also cheating. Aim mode. Ah! Oh, I can finally stand still. Oh, that's so nice. Cheating. I would officially consider that to be cheating. Whoa. Uh, let me not have this extender. There we go. Eh, let me not have that extender at all. There we go. Eh, let me go ahead and do, uh, yield 15 degree and I'll focus on the top and the bottom first. Ah, nah, that ain't gonna work either. I'll just, uh, I'll keep the old green and I'll just go for this. Maybe I'll do it in two blasts. Yeah, I'll just do it in two blasts. I see you couldn't do this, couldn't do this, uh, kind of skilled cleansing if you were, uh, not aware of the mechanics of the game. You don't need no tutorial to tell you how to turn a nozzle. I wouldn't even need to turn a nozzle. You don't need to turn a nozzle here. I'm not bitter about it. I'm not bitter about anything. I'm not bitter about this or me or you or anybody. Anyway, the one good thing about this game is that it leaves me an opportunity to talk about things since I haven't had a chance to do that. It's kind of like a podcast. I mean, I imagine there's probably a good idea here to have a podcast based around just the co-op version of washing these various machines. You just invite someone in and you're like, let's talk about shit while we uh, power wash something. And honestly, that might actually be a good idea for a podcast. I'm laying copyright to that idea. Anyone that takes it, you need to pay me money. 
That's how that works. Uh, so wow, yeah. It's been a while. I am, um, uh... Space is out. Space has been out for a while. People have enjoyed that. If you didn't know, in Space with Markiplier is out. And, um, you know, now that people have gotten to see through part two and all of that is done, it's it's crazy to think about. It. And it's it's fitting, I think, to talk about it here because I kind of talked about the end of filming with the last time that I played this. It, it's just one of those things where to look back, and I was talking in that one how I was just so happy of of being able to make something cool. And now that it's actually out and I'm so proud of how it came out and I'm so proud of all the work that other people have put into it, you know, I'm able to say with full confidence that, you know, I really accomplished what I set out to do and and I'm so, so damn proud of it. It's one of those things I constantly say, I look back at other projects that I've done and I can pick apart the problems that I did and did uh, with them, but it's not like I'm not proud, but this one is just like, man, I really see how far I've come in terms of like a creator, like someone who is able to turn uh, their vision in their head into a reality, which is all we really do is creators or artists or anything like it all boils down to being able to see something in your head and only exists in your head and putting it out into the world. Like that is that is what being an artist, an animator, anyone that like is a creator of things and stuff and putting their imagination out in the world that that's what it's all about is getting that image out of your head and and videos and, and movies and tv show are just one aspect of that but it's one of the most i think in any way cohesive methods of getting an imagination out of your head you know if if you have something that only you can see in your mind and you can turn it into a reality, that's just a beautiful thing no matter what it is. But for me, having a video... <sighs> I see that you have commenced work and that you are a pressure washer. Yeah? Kind of in the middle of a thought here, Kevin Bernard. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Surely Stacy doesn't seriously think that cleaning her carousel will make it more attractive prospect than my towering Helter Skelter. I don't know, man. What's a helter skelter? What are you talking about? Anyway, it's just it's wonderful. I'm I'm super happy with it, and I'm so glad that so many of you enjoyed it and really took the message to heart and really enjoyed just the entire show of it because it's like it's massive and it's immense and there's so much fun to it. Uh, but it's special to me because space is like special to me, and, and this show was very special to me, and it's probably the last YouTube original to be made, and. Um, you know, I'm glad that I was able to cap it off with that. And now, now I turn to kind of like whatever the hell the next thing is that I'm going to be doing, uh, which is, which is bizarre. For a while there, even before it actually came out, I was just thinking to myself, oh my God, what am I going to do next? Um, and to be perfectly honest, uh, the, the vast majority of you are probably like, oh, something bigger, something better. And to be perfectly honest, I, I don't mind better, but just bigger. Oh my God, no. Uh, <clears throat> God, no way would I go for something bigger than what I just did with space, um, because that one was just way, way, way too big. Like, pure and simple, it was, it was too big. It was too big in a way that was, I'm not just talking about the number of videos or anything, but the idea was too grand. Um, not even too grand. Like, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. I'm saying too grand to keep doing. It's not the idea was too big, it's too, idea, idea is too big for me who wants to do more things. So, uh, the next few things that I'm going to be doing are actually going to be more contained, uh, more isolated ideas that have, um, more of a condensed angle to them. And, and I want to also kind of like pick up with where YouTube originals left off in that I can help other people make things. I can help other creators, uh, do stuff that they want to do because that's what that in my mind, that's what YouTube originals is all about. And, and yes, I'm going to be like kind of talking a little bit about the behind the scenes of making things with YouTube originals and the flaws therein. I did not experience much of them that other people did. Um, you guys might have seen Dan Howell's video about working with YouTube originals. And, and to be perfectly honest, like it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. I was lucky because I had complete creative control with what I was doing. Other creators were not so lucky to have that. And yeah, so I am very grateful for my team that I worked with at YouTube Originals and I have nothing negative to say about them, but I, I do know that YouTube and Google as a whole is a big old corporation with objectives and whatnot and, and ideals and goals and things that don't always, uh, 
don't always gel with what other people want to do in terms of um, making content. And especially when you're a creator and you you have like this chance to make something wonderful and, and you know, you know that you are the only one in this vision, but you don't necessarily know how this big filming thing works when you work with a professional crew and like in the in the traditionally established film industry of what it is it, it can be difficult to navigate but i have now navigated it i have now been through every process of filmmaking i have graduated from film school without ever actually going to film school i'm not saying film school is a waste but i have done trial by combat of film school to the point where i can confidently say I know pretty much everything that film school would ordinarily teach you. And I have done that through creating. And let me tell you, there are some things that you definitely should go to film school for if that is your objective. Because uh, to be perfectly honest, there a lot of it I had to learn on the fly from people that went to film school. I'm not saying film school is useless, but I now confidently say I know enough that I have an equivalent education. That's what I'm saying. Is I'm not saying I'm better than anybody because I didn't go to film school or I know more than them. I know as much as them. And there are still some things that I'm lacking. Um, but the basic principle of what I want to say is that I can teach others. I, I can teach others. I can show other creators what they can do with their imagination and their vision. And that's kind of like what I want to be. I want to pick up with where YouTube Originals left off. I want to... I want to do this. I, I want to help people make things because making things is kind of the most beautiful part of YouTube. Is you get to put your imagination out there. You get to take risks and do things. And you and with technology these days, like oh my god, the the technology that you have at your fingertips is so much better than it was even when I started YouTube ten years ago, which can seem like a lifetime ago. And for some people, I guess it is. You know. Um, but when it comes down to making things and learning all the things that I've learned in the 10 years and being able to leverage tools and stuff like that, it's, oh, it's such an exciting time to make things. And I want people to realize that just because YouTube originals is gone does not mean that I'm going to give up on the idea that, um, other people can make things and creators can make things that are even better than what people make on TV, even better than some movies that people make. They can be made by individual creators and more people need to understand that more people need to realize that because there is so much so much an unbelievable amount of potential in people that exist there in the world you listening to this right now anybody that's watching my stuff needs to know there is no grand difference between you and the people that make shit in Hollywood or India or Korea or anything like that. The difference is they learned enough to get there. And if I can be a teacher for other people to make things and to realize what they can do and with way, way, way less of a budget than YouTube Originals was chucking around, you can still execute really complex ideas. It's just about taking the time to learn and plan and work and it's possible and I've like I've already got a few things underway and I'm just like oh, I mean I'm just super excited for it oh, let me use the new look oh that's very nice let me use the new look mode uh, that's wonderful I don't have to get dizzy going around everywhere oh that's, that's so much nicer this is incredible I love this uh, but yeah so I will oh I don't want to do that yet I will definitely be... Ooh, actually, now would be a good time to turn this bad boy on. Now I can just stand here and look. <laughs> yeah, let me just uh, let me just blast this for a bit. Um, this, is, this is quite nice. Yeah, uh, so I'm kind of free again. There's so many things that I want to do, and I want to be less afraid to talk about these things, because that's been my life for so long. It's like, oh, I can't tell you about these secrets. Oh, I can't tell you about all these incredible things that I want to do. God, I really just want to make Power Wash Simulator like my Monday video where I'm just able to talk about shit, because I don't. I don't often just talk. I haven't done vlogs in a long, long time. And that's practically all this is. I look at this as an excuse to be like, here's the, f here's what's going on in my goddamn life. I'm so tired of like being secretive. There's so many things that I want to tell you that I'm working on and, and plans and ambition. What I'm going to be doing is uh, in June, you will see me in uh, Corridor Cruise videos because I am going, to, I have signed up to be Corridor Cruise intern for a month. 
and then we're going to see where it goes from there. But for literally all of June, I'm going to go into the Corridor Crew office three times a week, and I'm going to help them make videos. Because I can, and because I want to learn, because they are very good VFX people, and VFX is not my strong suit, but I want to learn these tools. I want to learn Unreal Engine 5, because there is so much potential in what Unreal Engine 5 has to offer, and in various gaming engines as well. There's so much that it can do that we can all learn from. I just realized that my, my nozzle is not long enough to get the back wall, so I've kind of been wasting this opportunity. And honestly, I should be using the green one and just like go at it segmented. But yeah, exactly. I want to learn. I still have so much to learn on YouTube and I have so much to give back because uh, apparently it was a surprise, not to the corridor people, but to a lot of people when I keep telling them that I wrote all of space myself. I did. I wrote uh, an ungodly number of words, something like 300,000 words total. The script was 125,000 words. It was all words, but I wrote them myself. And there was some duplication here and there, but for the most part, that was a lot of writing. And to me, it wasn't a surprise because of course I had to write it because I had to do it. And, and I want to, I am not a great writer, but I know how to do the work. You remember the Eunice Honest video where, uh, it was very early on, I kicked Ethan in the balls, but we were inflating those big things. You look at that and that is a very pure example of what I'm like. If there's a tough route, but it'll get it done, that's kind of just what I do. If I just need to blow it up with the power of my lungs, then I'm gonna blow it up with the power of my lungs. If we are going to do a channel that requires us to do a video every single day while still running our own individual channels, I mean, Fuck, man, we're gonna do it. Like that's that's just how I am, and that's what I what I love about things. And if the best way for me to learn and also get integrated into the wider YouTube world, which is something that I have not been a part of for a very long time because I have been so isolated and with COVID and anything, and also I've been like up in my own ass about being my own YouTuber and trying to do things on my own, that I've often forgotten that there are other YouTubers out there. I don't really know what the YouTube landscape is outside of this. I know this can seem very strange considering I am a very large YouTuber. I have many, many subscribers. My channel gets a lot of views, but I talked about this with Anthony Padilla. If you didn't see my video with him, I also did a video with Bro. You know, I like I've done tons of videos with other people lately because I don't know what's going on out there in the YouTube world. For a platform that I care about so much, I know so little about what is actually happening here. And so I want to change that. I just do. I really, truly want to change uh, this perception that I have about my place in, in YouTube's world. I don't think of YouTube as a competitive sphere. There are many YouTubers and many people out there watching this probably look at YouTube as a competitive place. I have never, ever looked at it. What? Please check your job planner as a matter of urgency. What do you mean? What? What? What do you mean? Why is that so scary? What do you mean? Yes, my helter skelter is filthy. Don't text me about your helter skelter. What, is there something creepy that goes on in the background of these videos? Because I feel, I feel like something about this game is actually terrifying and I don't know what it is. Yes, this will affect my performance. Ooh, are you talking about your penis? I really don't want to hear about your penis now, man. I was saying something that was kind of important to me and I was like in the middle of some, but now you got this. Yes, the slide itself is beset with sticking spots, which take considerable arm strength and willpower to get. <laughs> All right, go on. I'm listening. I am listening. What uh, what do you have to say about this? You have anything else? Is that all you were gonna say? Okay, I guess he's done. Um, but yeah, if you watch the Anthony Padilla video, among other things that I talk about, is like I, there's so many things that I don't know is going on in the world. But oh, competitive. I have never viewed YouTube as a competitive platform where if someone else gains something, you lose. I have literally never looked at it that way. I do not believe that's how it is. I do not believe that the creative sphere on the internet is a competitive place where one person's gain is another person's loss. That's what I mean by competitive. You can be competitive, like, I don't know, race to be the first to play a certain game or whatever. But in all honesty, I would much rather look at it as a collaborative place to see other people's creations. Because once you get past all of these ideals and preconceived notions of like, oh, the numbers and stuff like that, which I've left behind a long time ago, and it was incredibly healthy for me to do that, uh, you start to realize that 
everyone has individual creativity and only the ideas that exist in your head are yours. And how you execute upon those ideas will impact how people receive them and how people see it and how you view your own creative potential. So no, it's not a it's not a competitive platform. The race is to the top. I have nothing against people doing that either. I don't care. I did that one time. I'm over it. At this point in my life, you know, I have all these skills and I know there's so much potential out there and and it's Oh man, I just want to talk to people about it. I just want to talk to people about it. I just want to shoot the shit about a platform that I really truly love and have not had a chance to properly articulate my love for. But I will. I'm going to. I'm going to now because uh, because I'm going to go crazy if I don't, right? I, I haven't talked to you guys about anything that I've been doing in my life. For so long! For so long! I do like a vlog update. You know, honestly, I kind of want to make this my vlog series. It's like uh, some people do videos. I mean, not anymore, but you know, CSGO surfing and shit like this. This is my version of that because it's just incredibly satisfying. <laughs> just, I love this. This one's actually kind of nice. It's the way it kind of rotates itself. But uh, one would, one might consider this to be cheating. But uh, thankfully, I do not. I, I haven't talked to you guys about like my recent things with ADHD. Oh, I was talking to my members, so thank you again to all the members for being a part of the channel. Um, but I was talking to the members and, and ever since I, I've kind of been a little more open in talking about the fact that I have ADHD. Some of you listening to this might find that as a bit of a surprise, but I have ADHD. And if you've been listening to Distractable, which also is something that I recommend you listen to, you might have heard my recent episode about my CVS escapades and how it's been very troublesome. Um, but yeah, I was talking to my members and they, I, I was actually surprised by how many people were really interested in me talking about ADHD more and more openly and what it's like, my struggles with ADHD, um, the ways I address it and try to like counteract some of the more negative effects of ADHD. Um, and stuff like that, and I would love to be more open about it if you guys uh, would like to. And if you want to hear about my my recent adventures in trying to get a new prescription called the Stars, uh, like prescribed to me and actually get it, it's there's a very funny but also very frustrating story about my my uh, my arguments with CVS. If you were following me on Twitter, you might have seen a while back I publicly tweeted that was about getting this. Um, but I'm happy to say. It was, it was just a matter of my local summary. And no, you go listen to the story if you want to listen to it. But, but in all honesty, one of the biggest changes in my life that's really helped out is, is getting this new medic medication and uh, switching from my old one because I used to take Adderall and just being able to sleep. And you have no idea how much just being able to sleep has helped my mood and my mental faculties and my ability to concentrate, among many other things. Like the medication's good and it helps me. Uh, but in terms of just like these kind of like thoughts I've had about life and where I'm going on YouTube and what I'm doing and, and I don't have worries about it. I'm just like, ooh, what's next? I definitely don't want to sequester myself away for four years to work on various projects one after another. No, but what is next? You know, what am I going to do? What, what am I going to try to do? What am I going to accomplish? You know, I have ambitions. I do. I, I've never stopped having ambitions just because I say, YouTube isn't a competitive sphere by default doesn't mean that I am not a competitive person. I am actually an incredibly competitive person. It's uh, it's it, many parts of uh, who I am are based in my ability uh, to channel fuck you energy. I really love fuck you energy. I love proving people wrong. I love that shit um, as much as I love helping people. You know, it's a it's a duality of me and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. But just like I want to be more open with it. I wanna, I have to, God, I have to be. It's just, I can't keep sprinting from one project to another. I just can't because I, then I like commit to something that's gonna take me two years and I, I two years, I can't tell you what I'm doing because it's all a big secret. And then uh, nothing comes out for a while and then, you know, videos will get scattered or, or whatever. And, but you know, I've been super lucky in that you guys generally understand that if I am not talking, it is because I am working on something pretty cool. And then you will see the fruits of my labor when it is ready, but I don't want to do that anymore. I want to tell you guys about what I'm doing. I want to I want you guys to understand. I want you to understand why I'm excited. Oh, unfortunately, as we were winding through Walla Creek, we encountered a group of monks walking against the traffic and I pressed the accelerate. Oh God, you ran over a group of monks? Meet my Jeet Kune Do instructor always says in an emergency, hit the nearest thing as hard as you can. What do you mean? What are you admitting to me right now? Did you just 
Did you run over a group of monks? Kevin? Kevin? Did you run over a group of monks? Please, Kevin, tell me you didn't run over a group of monks. I have to clean the inside now. Wham, wham, wham. I'll do the look mode. Oh, that's much better and much less nauseating, I bet, for you guys. Wow, look at that. I just want to tell you guys about what's on my mind. I want to make a film. I want to make an actual, like, film film. Not for the sake of, like, oh, I've always wanted to make a movie. No, I want to make a film because I want to submit it to a film festival and be like, see, bitches, I can do this shit. You have so many of my, uh, so many of my competitive fuck you energy moments are from people in traditionally established medias thinking that we... YouTubers, creators like us, can't make shit as well as them. It's like, no, we can make shit as well as you and better. So I want to make a film festival movie. I want to put it in a film festival just to prove like, hey, hey, guess what? I'm better than you. Literally, when I say that I'm like, I'm a competitive person, I am. But it's just like, I like, I like harmless shit like that because who gives a fuck what a lot of those people think? <laughs> Some of them, you know, I like. I've met, I've met quite a few people in that world. Usually, now I'm not talking about like the crew. I'm talking about like, think of like mega corporation style uh, media executives that do all this stuff about like, that make movies that suck because they have not a creative bone in their body, you know, that make these horrible business decisions to not put creative ideas out there. You know, there's a lot of that now that I can be like, I can stand toe to toe with you guys. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so happy about space is because it's like a showcase of like, yeah, I can do shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can do really cool shit. I can do like fantastical cool shit and if you're sleeping on the idea of like internet as a vehicle for your stuff and you're thinking in the same same stupid boxes you've been thinking of forever in terms of like how people watch stuff on the internet like how how people enjoy videos is like you're gonna miss out because there's people like me that are going to show you how it's done and they're gonna do it better and it, because I man I'm just in a position to be able to do that now. And I want other YouTubers to know, like, yeah, uh, you can do all of it. You could do all of it and more. So I want to make a film festival movie just to say fuck you to all of them. Kind of, I know it's like a pissing contest, it's like a dick measuring contest, but at the same time, it's like it wouldn't be that hard for me to do because I've done bigger, more stuff. I've done space. That is a that is about six hours, six hours and fifty something minutes of content. That's more than a movie. I know how long it took me to do that. And there were so many VFX shots. If I made a movie with like way less VFX shots, I would be able to make it for way less money, way of like all of it. I would be able to do so much for so much less in so much of a quicker time because I know what I'm capable of. And I know the quality that'll come out of it. I know these things. I just know them. And so because I know them, I am going to teach other people how to know them. And and I hope none of you think that I'm speaking from a place of arrogance. I can come across as egotistical, and I'm sure, and it, it doesn't bother me if you think that, that's fine. But I am speaking, and I hope you understand that I am speaking from experience now. And that's what I can really say confidently, is that like, I do have experience. I do know what I'm talking about. I can do the things that I am saying. I can put my money where my mouth is. And like, my God, I am going to, and I can make other YouTubers, not make them, like I can show other YouTubers exactly the same thing. There is a way. This is like my big ambition. This is probably like my next big ambition is just other YouTubers just being like, you can do it. You got it, buddy. You can do it. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is in terms of that too. And I'm going to show all of them that it can be fun at the same time. Because uh, if you're not having fun, like, what is the point? Sorry, I got a little heated about that. I I didn't realize how passionate I was about this. But this is because I never had a chance to talk about any of it. I just never have a chance to talk. I just don't. I don't know why. But now I do. I mean, I always have. I just, for some reason, such such a like, Ooh, it's better if it's a secret. It's better if it's a secret. No, nah, it's better if people know about it. <laughs> that way they can, see what's, they can see what's coming. And I can still make it hype without it being super secretive. But teach their own and I've tried that and I'm tired of it. I'd rather I'd rather just tell you guys what's going on so you can be ready for it. It seems to not spoil the surprise anyway because you seem to assume things that aren't even there no matter what I say. No, it's not honest. It's Darkablar at the end of space, you idiot. I'm never going to forgive you guys for that. I'm never going to forget. I Matt Pat too. I couldn't believe it. Him too was also like, well, "Could that be?" No! No you Fool! It could not be! 
Why? He's dead. He's D-E-D -E dead. Never coming back. The whole point of Unus Anus would be missed if he ever came back. Therefore, he is not ever going to come back. Because Ethan and I have integrity. Unlike some people, Matthew, Patrick, or should I say Mac? I'm sorry. There's a lot of really talented people out there on YouTube. That's the craziest thing is like, there's so many really talented people. They don't even realize it. But I will. I'm going to exploit that. Not exploit for my own benefit, I'm going to exploit for their benefit. I'm going to charitably exploit people. <laughs> I'm gonna use them for their own good. <laughs> yeah. Do I seem evil? Is this is this how cults start? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna use people for their own good. I'm going to hold their hand. I was uh, Amy once. Amy said as I was talking about this stuff. Amy said uh, I am like the pie. I'm gonna be like the Pied Piper of content. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. come with me and you'll see. <laughs> And I'm like, that is a really good compliment. I hope that someday I could be remembered as the Pied Piper of content. <laughs> that seems like a really nice, nice way to be remembered. You know, a lot better ways. There's a lot worse ways to be remembered as a YouTuber, you know. When careers start to go downhill, uh, you know, things can go awfully poorly for uh, certain people as they start grasping <laughs> to hold on to something. And, uh, you know, I'd, li I'd rather my legacy be the Pied Piper of content if I could do that. But also at the same time, I have many ambitions for my own content, of with which I shall show you guys in the very near future. God, I hope you like audio dramas. <laughs> I want to do um, I want to do my own uh, not Edge of Sleep, but I want to do something in the same style of Edge of Sleep in terms of an audio show, um, because audio and not having to film it means that I can get a story out pretty quickly. So I would love to do like a multi-episode. Um, podcast story. Uh, if you haven't listened to Edge of Sleep, I recommend you would because season two got announced and is like actually happening. I have no news on the TV show. That's not me being secretive. It's literally just like, I have no news. There is no news yet that I am legally allowed to share. So uh, in the meantime, go listen to uh, Edge of Sleep, the podcast, and then also be on the lookout for Edge of Sleep season two of the podcast as you wait for the TV show. And if you didn't know, yes, we filmed a TV show last year in Canada. Another, another one of the many secretive things that I just ran off into the sunset for and then suddenly came back from and then did no one ever heard anything about, which is some, a pattern that I'm kind of sick of at this point. I'm really sick of going to do cool shit and then not say a goddamn thing about it. That's what I am sick of. <laughs> So I'm going to change that. Hey, 69% clean. Nice. Oh, I don't know why I wasn't doing look mode. God, I keep forgetting about it. I know it can be more nauseating, but whatever. Whatever. <sighs> All right. That's looking pretty good for now. I need to... Wow. Look at you. Why would I place you? Why would I have any desire to... Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I'm protecting uh, my van or uh, the identity because I can't tell people. Uh, he doesn't want people to know what I'm doing. But also, I still think that there is something very shady going on in this game. And they are not telling all the secrets that they should tell. And there is a darkness within this place. And it will be revealed at some point. In the what are those? Are those eggs? I don't know what those are. I didn't like them though. Why is this area so big? Why is any part of this the way it is? It doesn't have to be this way. Okay, whatever. It's probably fine. I think. I hope. Anyway, back to cleaning the rest of this thing. Let me get this super long. I can't wait to get that new hose. It, it costs five thousand dollars, though. I think at one point I might have had money, but I no longer have money. So, um, uh, money's not really my thing. You know what I mean?
Oh my god, I've been silent for so long. I don't know when I stopped talking. <laughs> I, uh, that's the thing about this game is like, I'll just, I'll completely get lost in the, um, the act of the wash. And, uh, I don't know. It's just something very soothing about it. Also, I was, I was literally, like, thinking more about this idea of, like, bringing people on, uh, to do, like, no, it doesn't have to be a podcast, but if I was able to just do, like, more co collaborations with other people and just, I bring them on and literally my contingency for, uh, doing a video with me is you have to play Power Wash Simulator with me. And that way, like, we'll just load up a map and we'll, we'll just cooperatively, uh, Power Wash and that's how I'll do it. Uh, fuck it, I'll interview anybody. I'll, I'll, I'll make it like a talkie series. I love talking. Everyone probably knows I like talking. But, uh, if that's something that you guys would actually like to see, let me know about that because... Um, to be perfectly honest, like, the more I think about it, it may not be, like, a forever thing, but then again, I am want to, uh, want W-O-N-T to, um, start things and then never finish it, so, uh, it's not exactly out of character for me to do that, so. And anyway, what's the finish? Maybe I should just do it. Fuck it. You know what, I'm gonna do it. Who, who would you like to see me, uh, interview, quote-unquote, of, of anyone? Doesn't have to be a YouTuber. Just, like, anybody. Just someone I could sit and chat with. Or maybe I should think about that because it's, like, I don't know. Who, who do I want to talk to? It's not about you. It's not about you. You tell me whether you'd like to see it, and then I'll just ignore your comments and decide whether, whether I do it for myself. How about that? How's that? Sound like a deal? Does that sound like our normal arrangement? Finally, starting to get these horse rods. Man, those have been the biggest pain in the dick this whole entire time. They just don't want to get clean. Okay, that's looking pretty good. 79%, I think I got to get up on top of this bad boy now. Uh, so let's try one of these. Maybe I could jump up on top of it if I need to. What is this supposed to be? Oh right, the twirly do. I forgot about the turbo jet. Not that I need it really. Not that I've ever liked it, anyway. It's like, kind of, I guess. You know, I can, I can see the appeal of it. I really can, because it really gets in there and it really scrubs out the deep dirt that's really hard to get. So maybe it'll save you a couple passes. I don't know, something about it just isn't as satisfying to me. And that's the point of this game, right? You play it because it's satisfying. You don't play it to win it getting clean the fastest. I'm not here to speedrun, even though I have tried. Although my shrew-like reflexes saved the lives of the monks, my helter-skelter fell off the toe and rolled down the dark. Oh, okay. I see. I thought you killed a bunch of monks that were trying to cross the road. That's what I did. Bad news, it's covered in everything from tertiary chalk to Permian mudstone. Right. Well, that sounds like a you problem, buddy. What are you, uh, trying to talk to me about it for? I can't help you. See, how is that any more satisfying than this? Getting these stripes of clean... Oh! That's where the good stuff is. Love look mode. Love look mode. Glad thing they... Good, glad thing they told me about it. Can you imagine if they didn't tell me about this? Ugh, that would be their fault. That would be their fault. It is good for tickling these, uh, hard-to-reach spots, I'll admit. And it does look like I'm Gucci Gucci star. Gucci Gucci. Hiya. Hiya. Gucci Gucci. Gucci Gucci. Gucci Gucci! I do get a little impatient sometimes, I will admit. But that's why I play this game, because it's a lesson in patience. And even the most impatient people can learn a bit of patience. That's what I've learned. Oh god. I've been playing this a long time. I always just get lost in a time vacuum when I play this. Always, every time. Ha! Wow, that's a perfect shadow. But that's a good thing sometimes anyway. Ugh, why is it green? I just noticed that it's kind of green. Oh god. Where did you find this thing? How do these things in this town get so goddamn dirty? They just shouldn't be able to be this dirty. This shouldn't be a thing. Oh, oh, Minecraft oof. Ugh.
God, I love the turbo jet, actually. It does make life a lot easier. But conditionally. Conditionally easier. Eh, I can't really say that it's any better than the regular old turbo jet. I actually didn't even notice that these were in sections, like long tubes. Oh, if I'd have known that, I would have been, oh, I would have been doing it by section. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. I'm not bitter. It's fine. I know there's some spots also down inside that I probably missed, but I'll get there eventually. I still don't know what that weird message was about looking at my uh, cleaning list because I don't even know what that is. Maybe because the developers didn't give me a tutorial button to teach me what it was, but I'm going to blame the developers no matter what. So it's, it doesn't matter what they say, it's their fault. They made the game. They should know better. They should know that someone like me was going to come in here and wreck up the place. They should know that I was going to ruin everything. They should know, and it's their fault. All right, I think that's most of the top. The cresting still needs some doing. All of these crestings look like they need some doing. Uh, must have missed a spot towards the either the underside or like some other part that I'm not seeing. Oh, I bet the top of that gold. I bet. Yeah. No. Uh, there's some over there. Ah, all right. It's just a few spots here and there that I missed. I probably need to bring this thing around to do that. But let's see if I can get it from a distance because I'm lazy. Nah, it's not going to happen. Get what we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more. Grab ladder. Wham. Okay, center pole frames. Center pole ring, center pole topper. Easy peasy. Uh, rings. Ah, here we go. Just a few more to mop up here, and then that's the end. I know towards the end of this, I kind of just, like, zoned out and started cleaning, but that's kind of the beauty of the game, isn't it? body now wow that's a longer time lapse too i'm flying, <laughs> I'm flying. Oh my god that was fun carousel looks incredible the others are gonna lose it when they see it i can practically smell all that hard cash in my hands already thanks so much you're welcome what's next clean the drill i'll save it i'll save it for now i want to see um real quick before i go i just kind of want to like know what Ah, no, I need friends. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you do want to see these future things where I'm talking to other people and washing cars, uh, let me know. I kind of am interested in seeing how that would be. So thank you. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh, before I go, uh, I did mention a lot of things. I mentioned my videos with other YouTubers. I mentioned my podcast with Bob and Wade and Tyler for Go My Favorite Sports Team. I mentioned all In Space with Markiplier. I don't have room in the description to put all those links, but why not check them out on my channel, on other people's channels? Just go and explore. I'm going to be showing up in a lot of places that you might not expect very soon. So thank you. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!